Welcome to Mechnician. In this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you JALTEST Diagnostic Solution version 23.2. We're going to look specifically at the agricultural license, uh, the New Holland T4 series tractors. Uh, there's lots of different T4 series models and versions. Uh, let's take a look though what coverage we have here in JALTEST and I'll take you for a little tour. First, uh, let's come in here and we'll have a look at the uh, different models that are covered here under the agricultural license. We've got lots. We've got piles of different coverage, uh, but specifically here we're looking for New Holland, which I've already got in my favorites. Uh, under New Holland, you can see we've got quite a few different series. Uh, lots of coverage here on New Holland tractors. Uh, if we come back up, we'll just kind of jump into the T4 series. And we can see there's lots of versions of the T4. Everything from like a you know, a tier five tractor. Again, gel test is used in over 110 countries around the world. Uh, back to like, say like a tier four final. Let's take the tier four final uh, engine series. So here you can see we're in the uh, T T4 New Holland tractor. Uh, we can see quickly, we've got uh, quite a few systems covered. The engine, hydraulics, instrument, power takeoff, transmission, powertrain. Uh, nice thing about gel test is kind of right up front you can also quickly see uh, what those, some of the special functions are, right? So here, everything from cylinder cutout tests to calibrating hitches, hitches uh, to running regens, uh, calibrating the transmission, uh, lots of good uh, special functions uh, inside the software. Uh, so let's jump in and let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's, let's go to the engine because uh, typically I'd like to see the uh, regen. So here we've got the engine itself the tier four we can come in and decide whether we got like a scrubber and DPF or just a scrubber or whatever our configuration is I'm just gonna pick a DPF for now so here we jump into the system this is the diagnostic menu you can see down the left hand side we've got diagnostics technical info wiring diagrams or fuse diagrams uh, maintenance machine level and other information uh, nice thing about gel test is the way that the diagnostic process works it integrates that information in right when you need it most so you're not having to go hunting for it in these other menus unless you're specifically in here looking for technical information or location of like a you know a sensor or something like that um, let's uh, let's jump in though and let's do read the fault codes this is just demonstration data uh, there's nothing in here I'm not plugged into a machine so uh, if we come in we can quickly see the faults that are read when we go to read a system. You can also read all the systems at once. Uh, it just takes a minute or so. So here, if we come in, uh, just take any of these, I guess. Let's take this coolant temperature sensor. And it's going to give us several different pieces of information. First, we can see the freeze frame, right? When did it occur? Is it still active? How urgent is this? And then we can actually come in. In a lot of cases, you know, and this is gel test info. It's part of your, your license. Uh, you can see uh, technical information right here embedded into the fault. So if I want to come in and see this coolant temperature sensor, I can do that, right? So I've got some a picture of it. I can see the location of where it's located. And then get some details on it to understand, you know, like what the different temperatures and resistance. And if I want to come in and see the pinouts, I can also go straight to the measurements and see what it's measuring. And then if I want to go to the wiring diagram, have a look how it plugs up to the ECM, I can see that here too. So again, everything's kind of like put in front of you. You're not having to go back and hunt and search and do things really simple to use. Uh, honestly, you really don't need any kind of a training program to use this software. Very simple to kind of follow along. So here you can see it's highlighting that coolant temperature sensor for us. And just the same, the wiring diagram's got lots in here, right? So... If there's stuff that we're searching for, um, one, you've got the legend here, the different symbols, but you can also search on the list and, and find items, uh, whatever it is you might be trying to look for, right? So uh, main power supply relay, you know, it's right here, um, whatever, right? So here, this is the, you know, injector for solenoid valve, right? And there's the specs on it, the pinouts and what we've got, okay? So you come in, you can see where it's pinned, pinned in port 17 and 48 to the, over to the ECM, and that's good. All right, so let's go back to the diagnostic menu. 
So that's kind of one way you can go about a fault. So, you know, you either have just free frame, freeze frame, you got technical info, and then a lot of times you're also going to have troubleshooting steps. So, you know, if you're trying to figure out how to work your way through uh, a fault code to get it cleared and resolved, uh, the troubleshooting is nice to have. Uh, again, it's not every fault code, but, you know, when it is there, it, it is great to see. So here uh, we can see the first step, check if the fault code's still active. You know, turn off the ignition, wait 30 seconds. You know, it's kind of nice. You can kind of start timers, lots of things to kind of integrate the process, you know, that wants you then uh, clear the fault codes, right? You detected the failure, no. Go to the next step. Next step, check the component signal voltage. You know, there's, a com there's the uh, temperature sensor, right, that we were looking at. So we're checking the voltage. You know, uh, turn on and off, place a multimeter, telling you how to do it, right? Checking value we're looking for is 5 volts. Uh, and have, has the check been correct? Yes. Go to the next step, right? So on and so forth. You get the uh, the idea. Every, uh, every step is going to kind of, you know, have some more information and a process and basically take any on. So let's, uh, let's jump out of fault code troubleshooting. Um, and jump into other parts of the system and just so you know uh everything does that you're doing in here does get attached to the uh work order or like a pdf document so inside the system there is a garage resource planner you can save um you know you can set up your fleet in there or customers machines and save pdfs and work orders and add information to it i'll show you that in a little bit so that's, uh, that's basically the uh, diagnostic process for fault codes, and you can come in and just clear codes. Then we've got system data, just some basic ECU data is in there. It's nothing, um, nothing extreme, just reading ECU, given the software versions and serials. Uh, then we've got system data. Oops, sorry. Uh, then we've got monitoring. So here we've got uh, some system displays. So depending again on the model and what it is we're looking at or the specific system, you might have some nice displays that really make it easy to kind of take a look at. So here you can see we've got the system display um, all laid out here on the fuel system. You know, nice to see that injection amount and everything that's going on while um, in a visual sort of format. And then we've got also an after treatment seat, uh, system always a common request uh, to work on the after treatment systems or run regens and be able to check their performance. So nice to do that here quickly uh, inside of gel test. So now we go in and do a live selection or live uh, data uh, view. So a couple things you can do. I mean, we can record uh, measurements for up to 90 minutes, 24 measurements, add triggers, you know, identify when things have kind of hit, when a fault goes off, what does all my other measurements look like? Uh, there's lots you can do there. Basically play it back just like a, a YouTube video. Or you can come in here and you can select uh, uh, measurements. Here there's 56 uh, on this uh, engine that we can read. Uh, you can see, you know, if I just went and selected all these, I can just quickly graph them if I wanted to do that. Uh, I can also, you know, see these on a, a display if I want to see them while I'm running the machine or whatever it is I'm trying to do to analyze uh, and, and understand the performance of the tractor. So let's uh, let's come back out. All right, we can actuate some components. You can see we've got a handful of them here on the engine on this tier four final that we can actuate. Uh, system checks, injector, engine rotation. I'm gonna show you, for special functions, I'll show you regen. Uh, they all function really the same way. Uh, gel test does a great job at just providing you, like, uh, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, then actually has you execute the process and then provides you the information after it's it's really simple So all of these really function the same way injector coding uh, Maintenance side you can see we've got lots in here, right? So they're replacing the filter the the sensors uh, EGR valves, you know particular filter regeneration oil change, right? So let's come in and let's run a run a regen You'll see it's asking for an expert code. You can set up uh, your software so that you know only certain people can do extreme functions like you know setting up steering or joysticks or transmissions or regens uh, it's up to you how you manage your shop but here you can see this is how special functions work so they're going to first tell you exactly what's going on or what's going to be accomplished sorry 
you know, it's going to burn periodically, you know, you get it. It's really hot, 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's going to take 15 to 30 minutes. You know, every brand of model is different. Some of them are up to 50 minutes to run. So here, now it's looking for those initial conditions. It's telling you exactly what you've got to do. Make sure there's no active faults. Right now it's checking the initial conditions to make sure we can carry out the process. So it's checking everything. Now it's in a preheating stage, so it's starting to warm up the, the machine. And you can see too, I can also put the, the view on here for to be able to see what's going on actually in the after treatment system while I'm running this. Right, so it's actually doing it. Uh, now we've got some actuation conditions. There you go, and cool down. It's doing this all automatically. Obviously this isn't 30 minutes. And now we've completed the process uh, demonstration quickly of just how it walks you through and will perform a, uh, a regen on uh, a machine. A little different, you know, brand by brand, model by model, how you've got to like reset codes or clear codes uh, and how you run the regens. And But in the end, uh, you know, Jaw Test has the process in here for you. So, or has the special functions for you. So here you can see the report uh, from the, the regen we just ran. Everything's complete, and it's adding that to our uh, function. So, so with that, I mean, I'll just kind of jump back, show you a little bit of the technical information that's in here. You know, you've got uh, just general stuff like the lubrication system and things. You know, very simple. And then you can get into actual components, right? You can see we've got a lot of components here. This is just the engine, too, by the way. All right. So if there's anything. I'm wanting to see similar information that we kind of saw in the wiring diagram, right? It's just pulling you out to this, but you're able to see information. Wiring diagram we saw, you know, maintenance data, uh, troubleshooting by symptoms. These bottom four, all you have to be connected to the internet, just too much information, right? Like it's 40 gigabytes is what you need on your Windows 10 computer to house everything. Um, you know, and these bottom ones, you kind of got to get connected. So if you don't have a fault code push in, and I've got, you know, loss of engine power. It'll give me sort of some troubleshooting steps that I can look at, right? Um, and there you go. So I'm going to go and just quick disconnect here. Uh, I'm going to show you the document that gets created, right? So if I come out of here, sorry, go to the menu. I should save it. Uh, yes. I can come in, record comments or voice, put a price if you're in fact doing service, right? Put some information and then you have a look at your document before you, you go and save it. And it's a pretty nice document. It's got, uh, you know, everything that you've done, you know, as you've gone through along the way, it's captured. When we read, when we read fault codes, it's got all the codes here. You know, that when we looked at the ECU quickly, right? It put that information, the monitoring that we did uh, the live data selection that we did independently. We ran the regen, it's all in there. You know, everything's all captured uh, along the way. Okay, so with that, uh, I'd like to thank you for joining me for this quick demonstration of Jaw Test diagnostic software and using it on a uh, New Holland T4, in this case, a tier four final tractor. So. Lots more to see. Uh, I recommend if you want to see more or see other models or learn more about gel tests and our diagnostics for on-highway ag, off-highway material handling or marine, uh, go visit uh, mechanician.com or reach out to us at 888-624-2240. We'd be glad to assist. Thank you for your time today.